people's emotions really do drive the values of certain assets. And it might seem funny later on, but during that time when you're going through that downturn, the common majority public sentiment is that this asset, whether it's the internet, whether it's real estate, whether it's the economy, is that this asset is completely done for and that it's never going to recover. And this is where now your job as a smart investor is to see which assets are worth going into and which ones are not. And when you see this type of panic and overselling to then look for the good investment opportunities and go in and buy. And the tricky thing here wow. is your job as a financially educated investor now is to find those good investment opportunities. Because if I'm being completely honest, sometimes you will see bad investment opportunities. Like when the 2000 dot com bubble burst, well, guess what? Some companies went completely bankrupt, which meant if you bought those companies on the way down, you would have lost everything. Some real estate deals lost people money. Some stocks after the 2020 pandemic went bankrupt. And so if you went in buying the wrong investments, you would lose everything. This is where people get scared and you see the risk. But your job now is to do two things. Number one is to be financially educated. That way you can find a good investment from a bad investment and you can find those good assets. And then number two is be prepared because the reality amongst all three of these and every other recession and crash in history is that the people that can actually capitalize have the ability to do so, meaning you have access to money. Because if you don't have money and you see an opportunity, it doesn't really do you any good. Or if you don't have apps, access to capital, you can't capitalize on the opportunity. You can see the best real estate deal in the world tomorrow, but if you don't have the ability to purchase it, it doesn't do you any good. So you need the both. You need the education and then you need the opportunity together. That way now you can use these two things together. That way you can capitalize on opportunities that might come your way. And this is where now it is your job now to know how to deploy your money, how to invest your money, because you have to know the different strategies because what most people end up doing is they just throw their money into investments thinking that they're doing the right thing but then wondering why they're never seeing the returns. There is a strategy to the madness. There is a way to put your money to work that way you can actually get the best returns and that requires you to know how can you actually invest your money. When most people start investing their money for the first time, the first question that they ask is, what stock should I buy? Or if you're being a little bit more sophisticated, you might say, should I invest in stocks or real estate? But this is the wrong question to ask. I'll show you. See, when you're investing your money, the first thing that you have to understand is what kind of investor are you? Because investing isn't just finding the right stock. It isn't just finding a good real estate deal. Investing is how do you deploy your money in a way that's going to align with your goals and in a way that's going to give you the most return. Because if you just throw your money into a stock, it might make you money, but it might also lose you money. The same stock that loses you money can make somebody else money depending on what your strategy is. And this is why you have to know your strategy first. And that's what I want to talk about right now, because the reality is the first investment decision isn't what stock or how do I invest? It's what type of strategy do you want to use as an investor? And I generally like to think about this as two different strategies. Either you can be an active investor or you can be a passive investor. When I say active investor, I don't mean being a trader. I'm not talking about trading. I don't know how to trade. I'm not a trader that's gambling to me. I'm not talking about flipping or trading. By active investing, I mean investing in individual companies, looking for individual real estate deals to purchase yourself and operate yourself. By active investing, I mean you're actually looking for individual investments to go out and find at a good price to purchase. Passive investing is more automated, where you don't have to really worry about it. You put in the work on the front end to find a good investment and then you set it and forget it and that's it. And this is where the first question you have to ask yourself is how involved do you want to be as an investor? Because some of you are weirdos like me and you might say, yeah, you know what? I like studying financials. I like reading financial statements. I like writing cash flow statements. I like reading the income statements. I like listening to earnings calls. I like looking at real estate deals. I like figuring out how I can maximize my returns. Some of you will enjoy that. Others of you are going to say, I hate that. I don't want to spend the time doing that. I'm a busy professional. I don't have time to do that. I don't want to take on that additional work. That just seems stressful for me. I just want to set it and forget it. And that is what's going to first drive the next question, which is how do you want to get paid? Because some of you are going to be like me and you're going to say, I want to get paid with cash flow. I don't really care too much about the appreciation. My goal is to stack the cash flow, slowly build up this cash flow stream where right now maybe I can make $100 a month, then $200 a month, then $500 a month, then $5,000 a month. 
that's the type of way you might want to get paid. Others of you might say, you know what? I'd rather build up this nest egg. I want to build something bigger and more aggressive. That way I can pull from this nest egg in the future. And so you got to decide, would you rather get paid with cash flow or would you rather get paid with appreciation? And then once you understand these things, that's what's going to decide and help you make that decision of where you're going to invest your money. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love and while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching and as always, keep hustling. <laughs>